Boom. Oh, we gotta go full screen. Stop looking so happy about this terrible month. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So we have never played this game. But this game is like right up my alley. Ooh, is the is the, the audio too loud? The desktop audio? It's like pegging out in like a yellow and orange range here, so I might need to tune it down some. Uh, I mean, I guess it's fine. It'll be fine, right? If it gets too loud or if the uh, audio levels are off, just let me know. Uh, seems louder than Star Control. All right, let's turn it down then. Yeah, because I noticed it was pegging in like in the red. Uh, let's see if that works. Uh, well, so it was at negative six point one. So let's go to uh, like negative eight. Let me know if it gets too loud. Oh, let me turn up my audio because I want to hear this game. Uh, let's go to settings really quick. Uh, subtitles. I like subtitles. Brightness, blah, blah, blah. Control options. I don't think we need any of this. Hmm. Oh, that is loud. That is definitely loud. All right, new story. Sorry, uh, we're at current progress. Yeah, my current progress was me testing out the game to make sure it actually worked. Yes. Ooh. That sounds loud. Hold on a second. There we go. Ooh. Is that good? That might be good. Alright, so now it's at negative 10 dBs. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. The future. Sounds alright. Alright. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. So this game has multiple endings depending on who lives and who dies. Your story is a special snowflake. Is one of many possibilities. Yeah. And if we need to, we'll move the layout a little bit. Depending on if my face is blocking something. Kids in a cabin. Never fails. Always a bad idea. Uh, thank you for the host, Nyx, by the way. Very much appreciated. Looks like Hayden Penitary. I'm just looking out for my girl and just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Sam. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Yeah, it looks like Hayden Penitary. Penitieri? Tier Ter Terry? I don't know how to pronounce your last name. The cheerleader. Save the cheerleader, save the world. Points is not working for you. Weird. Hey, Hannah. I'll have to check that out, Sean. It, it should come back with a with something, anything. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it just be us this weekend. Josh. All right. Is that dude drunk? I broke it. I clearly broke it. Uh, press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Okay. Uh, hold R2 and use right stick to inspect the object. Oh, Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. Chossinator with the sub. Thank you, thank, thank you, Dylan. Welcome, welcome. 
We are playing. The dude. The dude. <laughs> we are playing Until Dawn, which is basically a slasher movie in video game format, which I've never played before. But we're actually playing a modern game. Look at this modern graphics. Hmm. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike XXX. Ooh. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Intervention time. All right. Handwritten notes. Does this take place before cell phones? I mean, it's more personal, right, if you write this note. Speaking of which, I don't know when this game came out. But, I mean, you know, when the PS4 came out. So, cell phones were definitely a thing. But, you know, you gotta woo people. You gotta be uh, unique in your approach. You can't just be swiping right all the time. And in cursive? Yeah, exactly. That's that's shady to me. Who writes in cursive? Nobody. Uh, there's something glowy over here, right? Oop. Use a right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Oh. I have seen this game from start to finish already. I shall refrain from speaking of any spoilers. Good game, I must say. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we have not played this game at all. So uh, this will all be brand new to me. Uh, pick up the bottle. Take a swig. Party girl. <coughs> Jeremy, Jeremiah Craig. Craig. Okay. Look at that wrist action. Boom. All right. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you Her, her boyfriend as a secret second grader thinks <laughs> thinks that's how all adults write. You You're probably right, Wu Chunk. <laughs> I do miss the uh do you love me? One, two, three, four, and then you peel the uh the paper apart and it says yes or no. Get it, Mike. Get it, Mike. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. I feel so bad for her. Matt? Oh, with the selfie what stick, you, you douchebag. Oh. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all good. Just a stupid break. Uh. Oh, man. You guys are jerks. You know that? The selfie stick? Hannah. Come on. That will never be cool. Use the right stick to choose. Uh, oh. Wake Josh. Wake Josh. Let's wake Josh. Josh. He's drunk. Josh. Fuck. Yep. Guys, Useless. Someone outside. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? Rude. Just around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of nope. the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. <laughs> Press the correct action button before the timer runs out. Uh, okay. Oh! Got it. Oh! We are hardcore parkour. Uh, ooh, safe. Let's go safe. Oh my god, cell phone. We are trying to get immersed and scared. Uh, and she's lost. Uh, follow noise, follow footprints. Footprints are more important, I feel like. I see you decided to play this after all. Holly, Holly, oxen free. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, we decided to play this. We'll see how it goes. I know you said you didn't have a very good uh, uh, opinion of the game, but uh, we'll give it a try. If it sucks, we'll change to something else. we got plenty of games. I will say the graphics on this are very, very good. Maybe it's because I've been playing retro titles for like the last four months, but... Use the touchpad as shown. Swipe. Ooh, let's play Candy Crush. Hannah. 
You can direct the light beam using the stick. Oh, this is kind of like if you've ever played Alone in the Dark on Dreamcast. The same way. You gotta move the flashlight around. Ooh, look at that. Freaking deer. Freaking deer. Oh, uh, to walk faster? Alright. Swipe right for a spooky fright. I like it, Sean. I like it. Hello? Can I go this way? Hello? Can I go up? No. I'm guessing it's pretty linear in that I there's really only one direction to go. Oh, we found a shoe. Oh, a statue. Come on, wrist action. Make this happen. There we go. Yikes. It's a death totem. What the hell does a death totem do? Uh, the possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believed that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Alright. Can I inspect it? Found on the mountain by Beth. Hold on. Okay. Uh, what's the mystery man? Oh, no clues. Okay. Butterfly effect. Nope. Okay, so I guess this is all, uh... Dude, the... the I will say, like, the facial, like, recognition... Like, that looks pretty lifelike. I don't know, I'm looking at the, the screen on the stream, but... Man, that looks good. Look at you, PS4. Look at you. You're all grown up. Um, I don't know what any of these traits are for, so we're just gonna ignore all that. Relationship status. Ooh, 1952... No clues. Okay, whatever. We're done. Uh, moving forward. So she will possibly die near a cliff, is what I'm getting. CGI? Yeah, the CGI is really good in this game. I mean, maybe it's modeled after actual actors and actresses. That's kind of my guess. The hell? What the hell was that? Or a dragon? Oh, I saw something. I saw something. Hannah. Oh, that's her. Hello? Come on, Hannah Bear. Let's get out of here. You must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. It's so dumb. It's okay. Mike's a douchebag. Hannah, that's... Uh, we better roll bounce. Let me know if this is too loud, guys. I've been futzing around with the audio. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is this a Hannah Montana video game? Yes, Sean. Actually, you called it. You are absolutely correct. Miley Cyrus will show up any minute now. Uh. Ooh. That's not good. Uh Hold on. He has a flamethrower? Hold on. Oh. Um Uh I'm going to go this way. Sorry, Hannah. Hannah Bear. Oh, wait. Oops. That was bad. Should I have dropped Hannah? I may have misread that. I think I misread that. Well, that was not good. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure. Are they dead? I think they're dead. Hey, this guy. I know this guy, or this actor. Oh, 
freedom. <laughs> Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. The future? I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around. He's a real actor. Yeah, he's the Russian astronaut in um, Armageddon. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work. Is this like Silent Hill where he's going to uh, ask me questions of what I'm scared of? And then the game is going to cater to that experience? Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential to answer honestly in order to get the most. Peter Stormare. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I never knew his name, but I've seen him in everything. He was in the Volkswagen commercial. Yeah, he was a nihilist in the Big Lebowski. Yeah, he was like... He... He kind of reminds me of the... Uh, oh, God, what is his name? Uh, the actor that was in Lord of the Rings that was, uh, I'm just, I'm just making stuff up. I can't remember his name, but he always plays a psychopath. He was a psychopath in, like, Star Trek Voyager. He was kind of an evil character in Lord of the Rings. He's always an evil, evil character, but he has that very intense, like, look. Ah, I can't remember his name. Alright, let's pick this up. How have you been, Chunk? by the way? It's been, uh, it's been a while since I've been able to stop in your, on your stream. Been trying to get, like, homework and life. Uh, we're looking at a house, potentially making an offer, so things have just been kind of busy. Uh, if you guys have not yet, let me just go ahead and give a shout out to you, Woochunk. Uh, he is a big retro streamer, streams a lot of good games, uh, very similar taste to what I have, so be sure to check him out. Alright, let's look at this picture, and it can tell us how crazy we are. I need a shout out command, that's what I need, I need a shout out command. Alright, so that's a farm. The scarecrow. How did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, it, I mean, makes me happy, I guess. It's kind of looks nice and quiet, I think. In what way yeah. did it make you happy? Uh, the sunshine is peaceful. It's peaceful. Very cool. Life's been good. Taking on a bunch more work in the last few weeks, so it's been hectic, but glad I still have time to stream. Gotcha. Yep. Adulting. It happens. Yeah. What have you been uh, playing lately? I think the last time I stopped in, you were playing... Uh, was it Mario? Was it Beyond Oasis? No. No, it wasn't Beyond Oasis. Yeah. My memory is like really Swiss cheese right now. Um... Oops. Uh, oh, to live there a whole week? Um, a week? I don't know if I could live out on the farm for a whole week, but yeah, sure. A week's not a long time. Huh. And what if I told you <clears throat> that this cottage was haunted? Um, I normally do not care if a place is purported to be haunted, because I generally don't believe in ghosts and supernatural stuff. Actually, the fact that you tell me it's haunted makes me want to stay there even more, just so I can disprove it. So I wouldn't care. Uh, Level-headed response, <laughs> but everyone is fighting on something. Sharks. I hate sharks. I wonder what it is. It right. Not a fan of sharks. Oh, so this is multiple sessions. I guess every time we make a choice, something bad happens. Ah, Beyond Oasis. Okay, yep, so my memory did work this time. Just some Nintendo 64 stuff, planning a blind run of Grim Fandango, and some haunting starring Pulcher Guy for the month and looking for more spooky games. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, Grim Fandango I have played through. Uh, I didn't stream it, but I played it back in the day. And uh, it's, it's a really good game. Some of the puzzles were a little difficult for me, but the voice acting is bar none. Bar none. It's amazing.
Woo! Sing it, girl. Sing it. I haven't heard of The Haunting starring Pulcher Guy. Hmm. If you need, uh, if you need suggestions for horror games, I have a couple that, uh... Ah, uh, that was Hayden Penitary. Yeah, if you need some suggestions for horror games, I've got plenty of suggestions I could give you. So, just let me know. Hey, Peter Stormare. Great, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. Haunting is an old Genesis game. Okay. Hmm. Haunting. You can play some, um... Oh, Splatterhouse. That's not really scary, more just gory. This song is just about the only thing I really enjoyed in this game. Oh, that makes me sad, Holly. This game looks so cool on the surface. Like, I do imagine it's probably very light on gameplay. It's probably a walking simulator, just from the few minutes I played it, where you're just doing quick time events. But as long as, as long as the story is cool enough and there's enough choices that make me curious to see, you know, how I would do a different situation, I might be all right. That wasn't the issue for me. Oh. History with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that huh. mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Oh, the anniversary. Alright, let's do that again. Hmm. Alright. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room jesus i know yes mr robot guy that's who it is and i know it's gonna be and the guy that's going to be uh starring in the queen movie last year he's gonna be playing freddie mercury i just want you all to know um it means it means so much to me that we're doing this and that i know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For for the sake of my sisters and yikes. You know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Okay, make this one trip. We'll never forget, alright? Yes! So, alright. I'm pretty sure I could have saved Beth if I had just dropped Hannah. Hmm. More intros. Woo! That's, that's loud. That is loud. That wasn't the issue for me, for me it was a story... Story? Yeah. Yeah, I imagine this game plays a lot like, um, Life is Strange. Where you make choices and those choices have consequences. Kind of like a Telltale Games type of thing. Sing it. I will say this PS4 remote play is working pretty well here. Like I got my PS4 upstairs, and you know it's direct connected to my uh, to my network. I mean, I'm not noticing any any lag. I don't know if you guys are seeing any graphical glitches, but so far this is like pretty solid. I'm pretty impressed. That reminds me of the Trapper from Dead by Daylight. I don't know why. See, I actually loved playing Life is Strange. Life is Strange was very good. I have not played the second one yet. Hannah, diligent, considerate, adventurous, slash cheerleader. 
Yeah, I actually need to put the uh, the second ep uh, second season of Life is Strange on my list. Uh oh. All right. Can we can we can we speed walk this? Let's speed walk this. Use the right stick to look around. Oh, that's cool. So I can control her head movement and the camera. Objects that glint can be expected. Yep. Is there anything else over here? No, nope, there isn't. I don't know about Life is Strange 2. It's an entirely different set of characters. Yeah, I mean, as long as it has the same uh, gravios and, like, emotional impact of the first season, uh, I'll definitely enjoy it. I mean, I like the character from the first season, of course. Gates busted. Climb over. Chris. Dude, everyone loves handwritten notes. Yeah, can I climb over different areas? Can I climb over this area? Nope. Alright, quick time event to not break my neck. Uh, safe. Come on. Safety first. Oh. Yeah, quick time events. Yeah. They don't know. I used to play Parappa the Rapper. Quick time events do nothing. Good job, Sam. Now let's jump down without breaking our legs. Creepy dude. Heavy breather. Breathe through your nose, buddy. It'll scare us less. When the don't move icon, do not keep the wireless controller as still as possible. Okay. All right, that's kind of cool. I wonder what would have happened if I had shaked it. If you're unsure what to, what to do next, uh, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Squirrel's a murderer. Yep, plot twist. Head to the cable car station. Ooh, it's cold. It's cold. Let's look at this sign over here. Uh, oh. Uh, death. So black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger. Brown is tragedy affecting friends. God, I hope I don't have to remember this. <laughs> Yellow butterflies offer a vision to help and guide. White dreams of luck and good fortune. I don't think I've ever seen a hold steel command like that in a game. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting mechanic. I kind of like it. Yeah, it's it's different. Kind of reminds me of the first time I played a... Um, uh, I can't remember what DS game it was, but it was like a puzzle game, and there was a tombstone or something that was covered in dust, and in order to solve the puzzle, you had to blow into the mic to get rid of the dust. I was like, that is kind of cool. Uh, rotate it. Guidance totem. Okay. So there's going to be a crow. And I need to not die. Got it. Right? Totems. Totems, totems. Um, a vision of guidance for a future choice. Okay, so I guess he can choose whether he wants to go investigate the crow or go somewhere else. But it doesn't tell you which... Uh, whether it's good or bad. The past is beyond our control. Hmm. Gonna head off, not really feeling at the moment. Alright, Holly, thanks for stopping in. I'll see you later. Uh, let's go around. Ooh, I see a backpack. Backpacks usually have all sorts of useful items. Not in the bag, are you? Yeah, heavy breather. Uh, 
Uh, let's snoop. Come on. Uh-oh. That was a butterfly effect. Ashley and Chris. He knows it. Oh. Chris. Has a crush on Ashley. Humorous, protective, methodical. You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. How about don't leave your phone on a bench by itself? Oh, so Mr. Fohawk. I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Uh. I mean, I guess I'll follow, right? Is he the killer? What is this? A sign that says. Wanted. Victor Milgram. Oh, look at this. Six foot two. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? It's like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Okay. That was 1998. When does this game take place? Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Intel Dawn and... Collect clues to survive. Got it. Let's, let's see. Clues, clues. Oh, here we go. Torn up poster. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think that's it. Wanted in connection with the first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information? Blah, blah, blah. Alright. Flavor text. Got it. Speed walk. Oh, hold on. Is there anything over here? Ta -da. Pretty rad, right? What? Is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. I wanna try. That actually does look like fun. All right. Oh, uh, we were supposed to make it to the cable car station still. We are uh, getting sidetracked. Use a right stick to aim, R2 to shoot. Oh! I feel like they give you too much time. I do like that dance. I do like that dance. Oh no, okay. Well, anybody and their brother can shoot a bottle that big, that close. She's calling you out. I am not gonna shoot the squirrel guys. Sorry, that ain't happening. Even a digital squirrel. I feel like that squirrel will save our life because we spared it. Butterfly effect update. Oh, I'm Chris now. Uh, what's over here? Is there anything over here? Speed walk it. Speed walk it. I kind of want to take the gun with me, but I don't think it'll let me. Come on, let's go find Ashley and make awkward advances towards her. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station. Squatters. Creepy. Can we go through anywhere? I mean, I guess we just go through the door. 
right? There's nothing else we can do. For you. A real gentleman. Hmm. <laughs> must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help. You know? Who made this game? I wonder. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just going upstairs. That's kind of where it's telling me to go. It's right in the middle of the screen. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta oh. wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of getting kind of Hotel and sanatorium? What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Family bought a mountain. I mean, they bought a mountain. That's one mountain more than I have. Ooh, security cam. Ooh, in the hot tub? What? Yep. So movement's slightly clunky. Yeah. Kind of moves around like a tank. Is that it? Did I, did I miss something? I thought I saw another X. Let's try this again. I want to look at that note. Ah, there we go. Nope. No, I can't. Hmm. Nope, I can't look at the note. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's go down and hang out with good old Sam. Ominous music. Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some Z's, but... car? Just like going to the prom. <laughs> I don't remember which one's Ashley. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no. He definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good. Good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> That's how bros talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. <laughs> and and next to Josh. That's how we met. BFFs. To this day. Match made in heaven. Butterfly effect, back, right? Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early. That day, decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train <laughs> I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. I mean, it's kind of right. I get it. Why is my mouse showing? There we go. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, trusting, irreverent, confident. I like the bios that we get on these people. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Uh, let's go. Oop. Oh, oops. Uh, current objective, greet the newcomers. Cool. Can we look at stuff? Is there anything cool we can look at? Nope. We're just going forward. Ooh, that scared. Uh, okay. Over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? 
We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Yeah. Press the button. Hmm. I'm glad they don't have any motion to oh type movements. Like you have to I twist the controller. Ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, thank Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. <laughs> hey, Chris. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's <laughs> private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Uh oh. That someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might I mean, that's her boyfriend, right? Imagining? I wonder. Insists. Oh, uh, let's explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Damn. That's fucking cold blooded. Ooh, all right, all stare right, down. Just stare long. down. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? Jess sounds suspicious. You? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? M. Mike's ex. Ooh, she does not look like a nice person. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. Oh, she's got a new boyfriend who's motivated, ambitious, and active. I feel like we're reading Tinder profiles. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, I'm not saving her. It's too high maintenance. Oh. What if we are the murderer? That would be an awesome twist. I'm sure it's potentially an ending, right? Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, we could have a Silent Hill ending where it's really aliens. Getting chilled. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Until Don confirmed new dating platform. Yep. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. Damn, Matt, you're the bellboy tonight. What do you think? Classic Mike. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on, uh, guys. We're all friends here, right? No need for violence. I just scared my pants. <laughs> Woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? Oh. The way you're being, you always get... Uh-oh. X-Fight. Uh, we're all friends. Oop, it chose for me. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend. Be the voice of reason. Be the voice of reason. This is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt, I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. Cool. So we're good. All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, <laughs> seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. He's such a bro. Such a bro. Oh, crap. Mm -mm. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Oh, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. I think she wants to go talk to Mike. Uh, I'm not leaving you alone. Em, 
I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? Here comes a fight. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything? Whoa. Whoa. Let her die. Let her die. If helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Would it be bad if I just let her die? Or is the object of the game to try to save as many people as possible? Like, I wouldn't feel bad. <laughs> I wouldn't feel bad. She is not endearing herself to me. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. Cool ring. What is she looking at? Uh oh. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, no. Friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. Too many to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh. We're being so voyeuristic. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Hey, wow, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, what are you looking at? See anything juicy out there? Uh, it, let me check it out. Ooh. Uh, let's encourage. Go for it. Um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. Yes. He might not even see it. Oh my god. Bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. We are all up in their business. Yeah. We are all up in their business. Ever? I don't know. I uh, damn it. Not I mean, it's for for the best, right? Emily doesn't seem like a good person. He deserved to be He deserves to be with someone who appreciates him. What about Jessica? No, Jessica's with Mike. Uh, check phone, read book. You know, people don't read enough. People check their phones all the time. Pop open a book, Jess. Learn something. Oh, butterfly effect book. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come take me into custody? Uh, let's grab a snowball and hit him in his bro face. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> yep. Boom! Oh, great. <laughs> hey, you know that? I feel like I'm just manipulating relationships here. I feel like I'm playing The Sims. Oh! Ah. Hey! Oh! Quick time event. All right, this is that premonition, right? So I cannot look at this. Hey, Mike! Boom! I hope they all die. <laughs> this music is uh, ridiculous. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Oh. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Uh, I'm just gonna hit this dude. Dude. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn, Jess. But, you did it. I know, I but I'm know. protecting him, right? Do it on purpose. It did tell me to do nothing. He's fine, right? Oh my god. Uh oh. Am 
I feel, I feel like I prevented something from happening, right? Guys, don't look. It's about to get R-rated. Cover your eyes. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Um, uh, grab a snowball. Kids, look away! <laughs> Woo chunk! That emote is great. I can think of at least one. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Did you hear that? Oh my god! Oh! I hit the wrong one! I hit the wrong one! Oh my god! Really close! Good to know I've got a hot BOD. I'll say. Bodyguard on demand. I hit the wrong I hit the wrong button though. Interesting. So are we pro pro mic or anti mic in this game? I feel like we're gonna be we're gonna go team anti mic. We don't like Mike, we don't like M. Or we're we're good with everyone else, I think. I don't know. We may just try to save them all. Yeah, that could have killed them both. Or at least it might have killed Mike. Uh, another psychological test here. And how are we? Shove the dead bird in his mouth. That is violent, Sean. Very, very violent. I love this actor. This time going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Anti-everyone pro-killer. Ah, uh, maybe for a second playthrough, but I feel like we want to save as many people as possible. Uh, men worry me, women worry me? Uh, I guess I'll go opposite sex? Oh, planes or crowds? I am not a huge fan of crowds. I can fall asleep on planes any day. I fear heights. I fear drowning. There are sharks in the water, so fear drowning. Uh, snakes or rats? Um, it's kind of a wash, but snakes can kill me. Gun or a knife? Uh, knives are more personal, so let's do that. I feel like a gun can kill you in one shot where it takes multiple knife stabbings. Snakes? Ah, cockroaches are nasty. Cockroaches are just really, really gross. Is that it? No? Uh, clown? If it was my wife, my wife is terrified of clowns. Uh, scarecrows? Uh, let's go scarecrows. Gore or crows? I don't think either are really scary, but gore is like kind of nasty. So let's go go gore. Oh. Whoa. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Jumping up. All right. Try to Okay. Uh. Oh. Uh, cockroaches definitely. Spiders are okay. Spiders kill cockroaches. Spiders kill insects. Gore or needles. Gore. I don't like needles, but they're not really scary. Uh, zombies, zombies. Zombies eat brains. 
Gore. Am I turning my playthrough of this game into Saw and Hostile? Storms, Gore. There's gonna be a lot of disgusting stuff, I feel like. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. You're quite welcome. Zombie cockroaches. Damn it. Uh, oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Go look out the window. It's what you do. It's episodic. Previously on Intel Dawn. Did you guys think this is a little bit? Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Emily, you're not a good person. <laughs> Ew! Broken bones. I gotta say, I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that... Spoken like a true killer. You want to spend mo moments with each of us? I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. Uh-huh. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Hmm. Butterfly. I know what you did last winter. Yes, exactly. Winter is coming. Ooh. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah, it feels the same to me. Chapter two. Josh, Hannah, and Beth's brother. Thoughtful, loving, complex. Mr. Robot. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. Yeah, when are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but there's so good to Oh, Matt's pissed. What's up with him? She made you carry up the luggage and she's potentially cheating on you? That is, uh, rude. Uh, let's gossip. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn Mr. Robot sounds like such a stoner. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own a place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> leave the way, coaches. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Confident. Trying to impress her. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Ooh. Is she flirting with him? Alright, Chris. Keep it in your pants. We gotta break it in. Come on, Josh. Double time it. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Oh man. Uh, uh absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? Oh my god, guys. <laughs> the bone zone. She spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. 
Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? <laughs> you and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. He's a good motivational speaker. I'll give him that. Maybe you're right. Maybe you've been friend zoned. Her, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what The bone doing. zone. <laughs> yep, Sean. Alright, alright, I got it. Seize the day? Seize the day. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? Time to break a window. You better deliver a coach piece or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. I'm guessing there's just another what is this? Clue found an axe holder. Ooh. Okay. Someone's got the axe. What's in this little storage? Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Guessing it's covering a window? Oh, we're just gonna climb over it. Got it. How come that window wasn't locked? Oh. Oh. I'm okay. Like a gazelle. Very elegant. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Uh oh. Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Oh, nice. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... It's gonna be great. I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? MacGyver? Crayon, it's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and push. Bye bye frozen lock. Bingo. <laughs> Alright, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. God speak, Pilgrim. Josh is cool. We'll try to keep Josh alive. Okay. Nothing really in here. Oh, I see something glowing. What is this? Totem? Hey, Totem. Ooh. A lost Totem. What does that do? Uh, loss. Uh, potential loss of a friend. Who is it? I can't tell. Just someone on fire. Okay. Alright. Just a rat. No one cares about rats. Oh. Anything in here? Oh, found something. A clue. Ex janitor convicted for arson swears revenge on movie mogul's family. Victor Milgram. So that's the killer, basically. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. So we'll just go through this other door here. Nothing? This does not look safe at all. Okay, we got a family photo. Huh? That's cool. Oh, uh, there's Josh and his two sisters. Oh. 
Oop, door just closed. Not cool. No other clues? Alright, going through the door. Um, let's go around the right side here, see if, what we can find. There's a door. Yep, let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, it's locked. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, uh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Alright. Chris is cool. We'll try to keep him alive, too. Alright, so we're just going to the kitchen or den or whatever this is. Oh, I hear lights breaking. Go over here. What do we have? What do we have? Clue? Oh, TV. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, let's go in here. It's like a Resident Evil dining room. Yep. We hit a wall. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, we got doors? No. Oh, wait, we can open this. Ah, uh, it's locked. Ah, uh, it's gonna be like Silent Hill, where every door is locked except the one we actually have to go through. Oh, what do we got? Family photo. Prom night. So, there's his Mike, his two, uh, some other people? Some other people. <laughs> Ariana official, what game is this? Never mind, JK, JK. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're doing a blind playthrough of uh, Until Dawn. It's one of those games that I bought a while back, but just never got around to playing. But since it's Halloween, perfect opportunity. So far, the game's pretty cool. Voice acting's really good. Uh, Gameplay is kind of like Life is Strange, but... I'm curious. I'm curious what sort of uh, endings we can get, or how many different endings there are. But right now, we're just trying to figure out how to open up the front door. So Chris can hit on Ashley. Alright, we don't have anything. We don't have anything! Uh, we can go downstairs? I guess we're gonna go downstairs. Yeah, let's go downstairs. If I remember, I think there's like three. Oh, nice. Okay. I was thinking there was going to be more based on who you saved and the choices you made, stuff like that. Oh, I see a glowy thing. So far, we like Chris. Chris is cool. Josh is cool. And there's Josh and his two sisters. Oh. August 13th, Cape Cod Josh with his lovely sisters Hannah and Beth. Uh, looking great, guys. But it's not signed with anything. How long is a typical playthrough of this game? Uh, uh, is it Ari? Ariren? Arian? Arian? I'm probably butchering your name. What's here? Nope, can't go through that door. Oh, come on. Come on, Chris. Navigate the wall. You've got this. Oop, is there anything over here? No. A rare in. A rare in. That makes way more sense than how I was pronouncing it. Uh, we looked at this one, right? That is a photo? Yep, that's a photo. Uh, there's a door there. Is there anything over here? 
My guess is we have to go through the door. Yeah, I don't see any sort of clues. It's cool, and I actually don't know. Just watched a few YouTube videos over it. Ah, oh, gotcha. How long to beat? Says about eight hours for the main story. Okay. So my slow ass, it'll probably take like 12. It's locked? Okay. I think there's a way to go upstairs from the, uh, the first floor. So I guess we're going that way. Come on. Uh, we'll go this this upstairs. And then there should be another set of stairs somewhere. Um. Uh-oh. The natives are getting restless. My cat desires food. When your thumb is a god and you never get burned by the lighter. I know, look at this. This guy would be awesome at concerts. This game, I so wanted to play this, but no PS4. One of the only games I would want if I ever had a PS4. Camellio, what's going on, man? Yes, uh, I felt the same way. This was one of the games that was on my list as far as reasons to buy a PS4, but I just couldn't... I couldn't justify paying, you know, three or four hundred dollars for a console to only play one game. So I gradually built up a list of PlayStation games that uh, justified the purchase. So, like Monster Hunter World, Bloodborne, Until Dawn. Um, I think those those like the three games that made me uh, purchase a uh, a PS4 because they're exclusive. There's no way for me to get them. They are PS4 only. Oh, and then the um. The other game that was made by the company that made Shadow of the Colossus. The Last Guardian? Last Guardian, yeah. But I didn't buy this new. I actually purchased my PS4 used. I tend to buy everything used because it's much, much cheaper. I was just given one. A rare end man. <laughs> Who's your friend? Can I be friends with your friend? Can he give me a PS4 Pro for free? That would be amazing. I'll play it in 2030 on a PS4 emulator. <laughs> we know you don't use emulators, Cam. You're anti-emulator. You're original hardware only. I'm actually playing this through PS4 remote play, so... My PS4 is on, upstairs, wired to my network. But uh, I'm playing it through my computer. Which actually is pretty sweet. I mean, I haven't lost any connection. No graphical glitches, no nothing. This is uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright, what are we missing? Oh, X. X, I saw an X. Ooh, is that a gun? No, it's so not a gun. Winner, Director Bob Washington, Blood... Monastery? Horror film. Okay. So I, I'm guessing Josh's father is a film director. And he wronged this janitor somehow. This it? Oh. That's not creepy at all. That is false. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, boys. My grandma gave me my grandpa's. Yeah. I will say Monster Hunter World was definitely the uh, the final push for me as far as getting a PS4. I didn't want to wait for the PC version to come out. I think it was six months later. So I eventually just bought a PS4. And I played Monster Hunter World and it was glorious. And now I have it on the PC and I'm playing it on PC and again, it is amazing. Dude, this place is massive. Alright, I kind of just, I want to get where wherever I'm going. Wherever I need to go, let's find it and move on. Because right now, I'm playing a walking simulator. Was I just here? Oh, it's just here. I believe. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Was there a door here? 
there was a door. Oof, come on. Chris. Chris operates like a tank. Alright, so there's the there's the window. Did I miss a door? Whatever. Okay, let's go downstairs. Yep. No, no, no. No, no, Chris. Chris, Chris. Chris. Come on, dude. Did I see that picture? That's just a family photo, right? Yeah, it's just a family photo. Oh, let me turn it around. Ready for the senior prom. No uptime command. There is definitely an uptime command. Hold on a second. Oh, you guys can't see that. Uptime command. Hold on. Why is that not working? I mean, it says it's active. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is my bot working? Test. Oh, you son of... That's why it's not working. One second. One second. Connect. Um, one second, guys. One second. For some reason, my bot is not loading. Let me uh, turn off display capture for a second. Uh, hold on a second. Let's make sure everything is not being streamed. You found a flaw in my system, I know. You found a flaw in the matrix. Let's see this again. Off the rise. Connect. Yes. All right, bot. Test. Uptime. Try, try doing uh try doing uptime uptime again. See if that uh see if that works. Yeah, I have the command set right here. They are enabled. <laughs> what? I've been live for offline. You lie. You lie, Streamlabs. What the hell? How could you? Uh. has been live for offline. What the hell? This is the future. Yeah, that is so odd. I don't know why it's not a... Uh, let me refresh. Why is it... There we go. I want to do it again. Do it again. One more time. Aha! There we go. Look at that online on-stream troubleshooting. Why can't you do uptime? Did that come out? Is there... Do I have it set to something? Let me check this out. Uptime. Edit. Uh, true... To, everyone has access to it. Doesn't work for me, though. That is weird, guys. I have permission set to everyone. Everyone can do uptime. Cost is zero. Usage stream chat. All. I don't understand. That is so weird. Hey, Sean, try doing uh, commands. Or try, try doing uptime. I wonder if it's because, uh. Is, no? Uptime didn't work for Childs. And he's a subscriber. What the hell? I'm guessing my 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 bot and my oh there we go okay oh so so a rare and it might no oh, it should work for Chalcinator I don't know if it's because you're not following or what oh my god is that a husky oh yeah that is definitely a husky guys calm down that is a husky and a lab. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. Well, it works for Sean for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Something to look into. I will have to check it out uh, after the stream. 
But yeah, that's weird that Chaucinator, who's a subscriber and a follower, can do uptime, but Sean, who's only a... There we go. There we go. Oh, it just took time. It just took time. Yeah. I mean, honestly, though, it should work for everyone. You know, non-followers and alike. But, uh, yeah, Raren, if you want to throw me a follow, I'd much appreciate it. No pressure, though. All right, Chris. Um, did I miss something here? Can we just... No, nope, this door's locked. This is... Find the pixel is what I feel like I'm doing now. Oh, turn the game guy back on. Boom. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow, sir. Little Monkey Island music for you. Up oh, here we go. This is what I missed. Nice. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. He sounds lazy. Oh, I can walk while this is going on. <laughs> Chris is like, okay, that's fucking scary. Lol, when he turns it back on, I'm now the game. Yes, sir. <laughs> Courtesy of Streamlabs alert boxes. Sergeant Taint. Yes, Sergeant Taint. All right, so that was just a clue. Clearly, I'm looking for a key, a crowbar, or maybe I just need to look at the door again. Nope, that's the TV. Where's the front door? Have I been here? I don't think I've been here. Oh, no, no, I have been here. I have been here. Come on, Chris. He's tainted the world with his name. Like, the way Sergeant Tate speaks, he speaks like he's, like, falling asleep. All right, here's the front door. Dear Lord, am I stuck in a walking simulator? What did I miss? I missed something. Do I have an inventory? I don't think I have an inventory. Dear Lord. What the hell? All right, what do I need to do? What do I need to do, guys? Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck in this scene forever. Is there anything over here? No. I need a key, a crowbar, something. You missed everything and nothing. <laughs> what did I miss? I'm missing something. Something to progress the story. What the hell? Go look in the bathroom? Where's the bathroom at? Yeah, where's the bathroom at? Is it on this floor? I, mean, I guess it's on, it's on its floor. As soon as I learned to English. Alright, so that's where we came from. There's a TV over here. That we can't turn on. Is there anything in the middle here? I don't think so. We can't go back behind this couch. Can we? Oh wait, we can. Hold on. What do we got? What do we got? Alright, that was completely and utterly useless. Come on, Chris. Think. Put it together. That was the dining room, which we'd been all the way through the dining room. That was the answering machine. I don't think there's any there's a close up of Chris's face. Yep, and that is the answering machine. Alright, so this room is clear. Alright, let's continue around the perimeter because I am missing something. This door's locked, right? Right. Is there anything in the middle here? No. Just stairs going up. 
Dude, what am I missing? That's the family photo. Think, Chris. What would a Chris do in this situation? He would save the day and impress Ashley, I guess. Alright. That's just shit that we've already picked up. Maybe we'll go down in the basement again? Come on. Come on, Chris. Think. Think. Dude, this lighter has infinite fuel. <laughs> His hand should be on fire by now. Nothing here? I'm gonna start button mashing X. Can I miss something? Ooh, get off me. Get off me, pillar. Come on. Anything over here? Nope. So we've gone fully around the first floor. Second floor? I honestly can't remember. Let me go uh, let me go finish the basement really quick, just so I can eliminate it as a possibility. All right, this door was locked. The second floor, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me finish the basement really quick, and then we'll go back up to the second floor. Another picture, right? Yes. Oh, come on. Yeah, Josh this is lovely. Blah blah blah. Yep, no one cares. What is? Oh, 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 oh! Is this a door? This is a door that we can access? No. Great. Wonderful. That didn't help. What is he looking at? He's looking like down over here. No. Oh my god, Cress. Come on, dude. It's a door. If you can't figure out this door, Ashley's definitely not going to be about it. Okay, that is right. That's the picture. Oh, cinema room. Did we do this? All right, it's locked. Great. Come on, around the coffee table. Nope, not enough space. Uh, around the right. Different camera angle. Nothing. Okay. Basement has been eliminated. Let's forget about going through the basement. This is why when you say it takes eight hours to do the main story, I say 12. Because I always run into moments like this where I have no idea what to do. Go around the pillar. Nothing in the center here. Or nothing in the corner. Around the pillar. Can't do anything with the windows. This is literally find the item. Find the item, find the clue. Alright. Absolutely Nathan here. Okay. Yep, nope, we're not going down the stairs. What the hell? All right, we've looked at that. That is a family photo. Chris, stop. Stop. Stop staring. It's creepy. Oop, door? Another freaking locked door. Is there anything in the center? Oh, wait. There's uh there's another set of stairs. We missed it. We missed an entire floor. I forgot. This is a rich person's house. There's more than two floors. Wait. No, we've been up here. Alright, whatever. We're checking. We're checking. What's over here? Oh! Oh, something new. Something new. Maybe make him light himself on fire with the lighter. Is there anything over here? No. But there is an open door. There is an open door. <laughs> Sean. Oh, door. We're going through the door. 
Hey! Something that's unlocked. I'm gonna go through it. The music is building up here. So I'm getting slightly worried. Eeh. I saw the glowy thing. Glowy thing, where are you at? R2? Yep. Oh. Ooh. Grab the deodorant. Whoa! Shit! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. That was fucked up, game. Perfect. I'm not gonna name any names, but I will say someone shit my pants. No names, though. Really? We're flamethrowing the front door? Alright. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Jesus. Nice badger. Honey badger, don't give a fuck. We found it. Wolverines are not nice. Good job, Chris. Defer. I'm sure Ashley is very impressed. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. I hate Mike. I hate Mike. Oh, kick his ass, kick his ass. We're going for fight. At home, bro. Call him out. Yeah, come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. Ooh. You want anyway. Oh, get him. Whoa. Get him. Easy there, cowboy. This is a reality show. Challenge. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. The telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Ooh. Ah, uh, let's apologize. Let's see. Right. We'll give him the benefit yeah. of the doubt. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. Be cool? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Do we trust Mike? I don't know. I don't know if we trust Mike. This, this lady. She sounds jealous. No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me. Did you say something? Oh, did you? This is a reality show. Too loud. Sounds like someone's bitter. She didn't make the cut. Yeah. Ooh. All the big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep, calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Uh, Emily needs to chill. Shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, Whoa! Oh, the Here we go. The Real Housewives of Blackwood Pines. A bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grace when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Ooh. You serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Oh, uh, uh, let's just fuse it. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. I hope they both There's eat no it. Like I kind of want to provoke them. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it. This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not <laughs> what I wanted. We can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's cool. Come on, Jess. Oh, parting shot. Well, that's over. 
Let's see if Emily wants to argue. So, nope, no argument. Uh, can you get this bag going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Damn it, Matt. Are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the raft while you were drooling all over Oh, uh, I hate letter. Emily. We're gonna let Emily she die. She's asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Yep, we're letting her die. Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I forget my bag? Well, I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. That's just not even fair. Okay. Not even fair. Come on, Matt. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Status update. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! Gonna need these. Porn stars. I pay to see it. Uh, gross. Sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. I thought he was throwing them condoms for a second. Oh, I almost forgot. You gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. Alright. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Mm -hmm. You wanna invite him up with us? Wait, uh. really? What? No. <laughs> Man, oh, I have vast experience with generators. I have hundreds of hours in Dead by Daylight, so this should be easy for me. Uh, two seconds, guys. I have a a shark-like cat just prowling around me. Let me just feed him really quick. All right, we're back. Can you guys see the cat? Oh, you guys see the cat. Damn, he is stream bombing me over there, feeding his face. All right, what's uh, what's our objective here? Follow the path to the cabin, because we cannot get along with people. Uh, what else is there? Is there anything? Any clues I can grab before I head down there? All right, Jess, let's roll. happen if I had taken a bad selfie? It is freezing out here. That's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Oh. What is this? DLC for this place anymore. Private property, Washington Estate. Oh, did I lose her? Oh. Whew. 
Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a babe. Uh, she was being crazy. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Oh, we did something bad. We encouraged drama. R2? Bloop. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. All right, the Did generator. Say there was a generator? Okay. Generator in the shed here. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. What is this? A clue. Oh, I told him. Oh! Oh! Man! That was a vicious right hook. Not very professional, though. You always lead with the jab. The jab sets off the hook. Alright. Let's see. Gotta be more like Mayweather. Okay. And. Boom! Nice one, Mikey. Oop. Um. Nice. Woo, you are a Mike is a hero. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. This game is wrong. This game is wrong. All right, I already got the totem. Let's get out of here. I really wish I could play this game at night, but you know, adulting work. Push the button. Look at that. Sam, the gates shall open. Good guy, Mike. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That's awesome. Oh yeah, I bring the hit. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going on to the cabin. You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. Look at that butt, guys. Look at that butt. He must work out. Oh, oh no, no, no. Let's talk. Let's talk. I think they clean it up. Well, they never close the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Uh, what do you remember? It's all such a blur. I barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault. They ran into the wood. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? Damn. Can I look at the tape? Nope. I guess not. Man, how far is this cabin? Oof. That sounded like the nurse from Dead by Daylight. Did you hear that? Uh, I heard something. Yeah. Uh. Damn. What's over here? I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka wax museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. Oh! We're adventurous. We'll find another way around. Hey, Jessica! Yep. Hey. I'm okay. Holy crap. <laughs> How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. 
Uh, cautious. Push the cart. All right, Jess. There's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. Wait. Wait. Let me just try it. It's too heavy. Yep. Go down and help. Helpful. Uh, squeeze to the grab. Try it again. Try it again. All right. Try it again. <laughs> Super heavy. But maybe you already loosened it a bit. <laughs> hey, Michael. I'm like pretty ripped at all, but I don't think I can move it. Any other bright ideas? Uh, I'll drop the light. No, uh, I'll drop the light. Yeah. All right, Jess. I'm gonna drop the light down. It's gonna okay. break. Look alive. What? Look up. All right. The heads up. Get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. <sighs> okay. So now she can squeeze through the gap with the flashlight and be okay with it. Is the plan? Possible? Mike, if you lose her, you can always find another. You're good looking. You've got this. Is he gonna get stuck and killed? It's all that winter weight. Uh, well, hello. Hello. Shall we? So far, so good. I really like this game. Did I see the scary man? Yes, I did. Uh. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh holy crap! Ugh. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Ooh, strained his back. Should deadlift more. We're just moving forward. Nelly, this place is giving me the willies. I'm not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? We'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Hey, totem. That looked like Jess. I didn't see anything. Did you see anything? I didn't really see anything. Just scary music. Up the stairs? Up the stairs. The good kind of willies. Yeah. Pretty much. Alright, so big long corridor on the left. What's on the right? Probably a clue? A clue. A Whoa. mystical symbol. This place is like historical. <laughs> Holy cat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Hmm. All right. This place is like historical. Huh. It's like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Blues Clues. Yep. <laughs> we found a cigar stub. Wonder who's out there. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? Did I see anything else? I don't think so. Oh! Oh! You alright? Yeah. Close one. I don't 
think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. Yep, do not Airbnb this place. Uh, is there anything on this side? No. Yep, I see a glowy thing. Interact. Clue found. This place is a real fixer upper. Extreme rockfall danger, flood risk, collapse support from rust. Everything is dangerous. Got it. What about over here? Anything? No. Nothing. We're just going deeper and deeper into this mine. Oh, we made it out. Or anything over here? Can I go this way? Oh, I can. Oh, what is it? Hey, a totem. This is what we get for going off the beaten path. Oh, okay. So it looks like Jess is going to get kidnapped and then fall down a mine shaft. What's over here? What is this? Nothing? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. With how cold it is, you would think they'd walk a little bit faster. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? <sighs> Take a ride on Air Force One? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Everything is sexual <laughs> innuendo. <laughs> Go check it out. I just saw someone in the cabin. Whoa! I didn't see anything. Did you see that? I didn't really see it. That's weird. I didn't see it. I guess we can't see it again. Uh, sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Wait, did he not see that? Weird. Alright. Hey, Jess? Mm hmm? Stay close by. I ain't seen shit? Okay. Oh, uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael. I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. <laughs> Come on, please. Come on. That actually is a pretty awesome I idea. Not hug a bear. <laughs> Assuming you don't get mauled. Oh, I see footprints. Oh wait, we just came up from here. Down here? Yes. Ta da! Oh, Mike, where are you going, buddy? Wait, did we come down? Did we come from up here? Oh man, my direction sense. Am I going back down the way I came? I don't think so. Yeah, the music's different. Oop, there's a deer. <laughs> Watch out, bird brain. <laughs> uh, witty. Just, just answering, 
Wow, you're easy. Yeah. Got a lot of love to give. <laughs> a lot of love to give. Dude, where is this cabin? <laughs> like, how far have we been walking? There we go, finally! Damn it, Josh. You have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, boo! Show off. I mean, it's just a wall. You got something on your face. Ooh, let me aim, let me aim. Oh. That's how it's gonna be. Oop, she disappeared. You better go get her. Yes. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Demi! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Hardy har. Hmm. Come on. All right, Josh. Let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Hmm. All right. Okay. Well, we made it to the cabin. Just may have died. So it is almost 7.30 here, so we're going to go ahead and cap the stream. Oh, uh, there's no way to save, actually. But, uh, so if I just go... I don't even know how to leave. How do I leave? No? Nope, nope, I don't want to save a movie clip. Um, uh, I guess we're just gonna go that way? I hope this saves. Alright, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll cap the stream for now. I will be back on Thursday. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to continue with Until Dawn or if we're going to alternate between this and Star Control since I already, uh, since I already started that game. Because I kind of don't want to, like, leave it for a month and come back and try to figure out how to, uh, where I left. Because I have a bad memory. I don't know if I mentioned this. So, we might do Until, Until Dawn or we might do, uh, Star Control. But we shall see. Uh, thanks for the stream, Senior Heavy. Catch you later. Wu Chunk, thank you, thank you, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Uh, always good to see you around. Um, yeah. So I'll be on Thursday. If you guys have any suggestions for games to try out, especially horror games, let me know. Um, shoot me a follow if you haven't already for all your lurkers out there. I'm also on Twitter. I upload all my streams to YouTube now as well. So you can follow me there if you want, but you don't have to. All right, guys. Uh, let's find someone to raid. Who can we raid? Who is on? And it's Twitch lying to me. Because they've done that before. Hey! Uh, Big Nose is playing uh, Sanitarium, so let's raid him. What's up, Big Nose? What's Yeah. Uh, okay, looks like he's online. Alright guys, I will see you on Thursday.